Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the transparency effect that I have when my character actually moves behind the trees as she's walking around. So I've already set up a few things, and I'll just briefly go over those. Your scene doesn't have to be the same, because uh, the method should work the same way, regardless of sort of what nodes you're using. But uh, my character is a kinematic body 2D with a sprite and a collision shape. And my tree is a static body 2D with a sprite and a collision shape. And then I have my main scene set up, and I've just added uh, my tree and my player as children of a Y sort node. And then in the very background, I have a color rect just so it looks a little bit more like grass, so it's not the sort of boring gray for this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my tree scene and I'm actually going to add another area. Add a child node area 2D and then as a child of the area 2D I'm going to add a collision polygon. Collision polygon 2D specifically. Um, so once my collision polygon is selected I'm going to go up to the menu bar up here and click on create points and then draw out the actual area that I want the transparency transparency to be active within. So now that I have my sort of collision polygon inside my area 2D as a child of the tree, I'm actually going to now make sure that a signal is sent whenever the player character is in this area. So within area 2D, I'm going to go over to the node tab and under body entered, I'm going to connect that. Oh, you know what? I don't have a script. Very true. I need a script first. So under tree, I'm going to add a script. <laughs> Here we go. So I'll go back to my 2D view and try that again. So for area 2D, I'm going to connect body entered to tree. There we go. OK, so this is what's going to happen when the body, in this case the player, actually enters that collision polygon that we just drew. So one thing I want to do is make sure that the body that actually triggers the signal is the player. Okay, so basically I'm just checking the name of the body and making sure that it's player. And if it is, we're gonna go ahead and actually create the transparency. So the transparency is actually, let me hide the collision polygon right here so we can see the tree. The transparency is created by modifying the visibility of the sprite. So in this case, uh, we're just gonna use modulate. And when you click on modulate, you get the sort of color channels for the sprite. And A stands for alpha, which is transparency. If I slide that down, you can see that the sprite is becoming more transparent. Um, so here we can sort of tell it how transparent we want the sprite to be when the player character is behind it. So I'll just do something that looks like it's in the middle here. There we go. And I'm going to copy that color value. And actually, I'll set it back to 100 because we don't want that to happen until the player is actually behind the tree. Then I'll go back to my tree script. And in the signal, all we have to do is get the sprite. So we'll set sprite.modulate equal to the sort of transparent color value that we have there. So you can see the first thing happened. It becomes transparent when my character is behind the tree, but when my character leaves, I want the tree to become sort of solid again. Um, so we need another signal. So let's go back to our tree scene here, back to area 2D, back to node, and we already have the body entered. We want the body exited. So we're gonna connect the body exited to the tree again and basically just do the opposite of what we did when the body entered. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that code 
And in this case, I'm going to get rid of the 82, which I already know is the sort of transparency. Let's play the scene. And it's transparent when we're behind it and not transparent when we're not behind it. In uh, some of my previous videos, you can see that it doesn't sort of switch on and off instantaneously. There's sort of a gradual transition from transparent to opaque. So the next thing we're going to do is give it that effect of sort of gradually becoming transparent when my character enters and then gradually becoming opaque when my character is no longer behind the tree. Switching back over to the code, let's go ahead and add a tween as a child of my tree here. There we go. And then back in the scripts, we're going to add the actual tween code. So I'm just going to copy and paste it right out of the Go.documentation. documentation. So I'll just paste that and then we'll change what we need to uh, put the variable above the ready function and put the tween in the actual if statement because we don't want the tween to start until it's definitely the player body that has entered the shape and I'll comment out the previous thing underneath body entered. Oh, so it looks like we need to use on ready because we're trying to get a node. We want to make sure it's actually there before we try to call it. There we go. Okay, so the way tweens work is that the tween needs a node to actually affect the property that it's going to affect a start value, an end value, a number of seconds that you want the sort of tween to take, and I think that's a float, and then the actual timing of the animation or the transition itself. So I want to change position to modulate because that's what we're changing. And for a start value, um, I'm going to change that to color. And this sort of tripped me up the first time I did this because initially I pasted in the hex code for the color, but that doesn't work. For a tween, you need a sort of color, and I think that's the RGB sort of way of defining the color. Um, so that's the start value. So that's, everything's normal. And then our end value. Let's say 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 in this case is the alpha channel. We have, I think it's RGB and then the alpha. So that's 50% transparency. Uh, we want it to take, let's say, half a second. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did not actually tell it what to tween. OK, so we're going to tween the sprite. So you can see there was a smooth transition to transparent, as opposed to it just sort of flicking on and off. So of course, we have to add that tween to the exit in order to get it to transition smoothly when my character is no longer behind the tree. Um, so I'm going to copy all that stuff, paste it right there. And I'm going backwards. So that's from 0 0.5 uh, back to 1 or 100% transparency. And I think that works. I'm going to save my script, go back to my main scene, and Smooth transition, smooth transition, there we go. So I hope you found that useful. Um, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing if you like the video and I hope to see you in a next one. Thanks.